Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Grateful here, and today we're going to start a Let's Play series. This will be my first Let's Play series, and we're going to do this on Hand of Fate. Um, this is an excellent game. Um, I think that it has a uh, um, great play, um, one of the best card games I've ever played, and uh, you know, um, I think I'm going to do each and every uh, um, each and every hand, I will do a Let's Play video on it. Um, One more for the game. Come, sit. You have passed the thirteen gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this game. Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to, uh, you know, play every hand as I know later on in the game it gets a little more difficult. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see how this Let's Play goes. But uh, this will be the first installment and I believe this will be the tutorial run. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So uh, let's get right into the video here. The game begins. One lives and one dies. Let us see what you are made of. All right, well, let's see then, shall we? Here is the first member of my court, the Jack of Dust. Twelve in all must fall before you may challenge me. So the Jack of Dust, the bandit leader is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his followers to steal gold on each hit. Well, that kind of sucks. He steals gold on each hit. In the ruins of the ancient temple, among the eternally shifting sand dunes, lives the mysterious leader of the desert bandits, infamous for his reign of terror over the spice caverns that dare take their chances traveling through his domain. He rules as king over the barren lands. Okay, so he's going to be our first boss fight, basically. Um, and now we gotta go through <clears throat> the level and then get to the boss fight. <laughs> and he's shuffling the deck right now. Let the cards fall where they may. Alright, so now you have your option of going where to or, or choosing where to go, and right as of right now we only have one direction, so it's I was never a fan of illusion. Mr. Lionel. Here, I'll make an exception. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local tavern, a strange old man takes a seat next to yours. He taps your shoulder quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice he appears to be goblin, poorly disguised as human. His, w his wizened-faced grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. If you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure your heart's desire with the wizardly wand of my own creation. So, we're going to give him bread from our plate, because that's the only thing I have. Um, I could ask him what he needs, but even if he says he needs gold, I still don't have the gold to give him. So we're just going to give him bread from the plate. Um, he considers the bread seriously before placing it carefully in his coat pop pocket seemingly satisfied and I'll lose a food over that um, Mr. Lionel taps the staff on the ground and a shield manifests at your feet there you go old bean he smiles a warm grin that reveals his chipped and yellow tooth your face reminds me of my son I haven't met you before have I so we have a shield now. I cannot expect you to get by without some protection. Now, um, this this game does consist of both card and action um, sequences, and with the shield, um, I will be able to counter and uh, um, be able to counter and reflect. Now, this here is telling me that I'm able to reflect arrows that come in with the uh, the Y button on the uh, Xbox uh, controller. So, and this it also tells me I can do counter with the uh, with the same button. So. Yes, let us go ahead and equip the shield. Ranged attacks using your shield. 
Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. Then, before you can stop him with inhuman speed, he snatches a picked onion off your plate and sprints out the tavern door. He likes them onions, I do believe. All right, so we're moving on to the next card. The Maiden. Ooh, fair, fair Maiden. Marith. I'm not surprised to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. So, it's a Maiden riding a unicorn. Interesting. Interesting card. So, uh, let's see here. One day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. I am Meredith of the forest folk. My people have long helped the mortals of this realm. What boon would you ask of me? Um, I believe if you ask for supplies, you're going to get extra food. If you ask for gold, you're going to get gold. Um, I, we're going to ask for gold, I think. Meredith seems surprised. It is unlike an adventurer to beg for coin, but very well if it is your wish. So we get to draw three gold gain cards. Interesting. Nice. Fifteen gold. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Another fifteen gold. And twenty-five gold. Oh my gosh, we got fifty-five gold off that encounter. Nice. Nice. The elders of our kind often say that me we must retard paths once we took we once took in order to gain advantage of the present. Farewell, mortal. So I guess uh, uh farewell. And we move on to the next card. The Twisted Every Canyon. Step you take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Um, but yes, every step we take um, consumes one food, but also gives us five health. And now we're at the Twisted Canyon, so let's see what's up with this. You see a weapon glittering in the sunlight next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. Um, yeah, let's climb down and retrieve the weapon. All right now here we have four possible outcomes. Three are success and one is a failure. Choose from these options. Now it is all up to me to choose the right card. And we have a success. Nice. Um, you, Very carefully you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. And draw one weapon card. Now you receive a weapon. Ooh, an axe. Well, it replaces my rusty axe. I get five more damage for that. So nice, nice. That will make you much more effective. All right, we're off to the next card, which is the stairs and moves us down. More, seeking the heart of it all. We're going to go ahead and take the stairs, yes. Your journey is well begun. This is what I was looking for. You show some aptitude for the game. Perhaps this will not be as boring as I thought. All right, and we're on the second floor of the dungeon. And let's go ahead and advance our card. The Traveling Tinkerer. This is where a store, I imagine. In a shady grove, off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. Well, let's approach the shop. Yes, most definitely. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Let's see what he's got to offer, then. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, you now have your answer. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. The back and forth between resources and rewards. Now here I can buy and sell items, also buy food. Um, we have nothing to sell. Let's see what he has to um, offer us. Um, any hailing that the player receives is doubled. You know, I think I'm just going to keep it and we're going to buy a little bit more food. Let's buy three food. We're back up to seven food, and we'll continue on our path here. And an ambush. What did right, you well, let's think take care of the ambush the then. Called ambush, eh? Two of dust. So now we actually have to battle. You can now counter your opponent's attacks. Hit the counter button when you see the flashing indicator. Uh, there's a counter. Here's another counter. These guys are pretty simple guys. There we go. We beat the encounter without losing any health. We'll see what, what comes of this. 
um, while searching the area for anything worth scavenging, salvaging, you realize that there, one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Well, let's sneak up and kill him. Again, we have a 25% failure chance here, and it is up to us to pick the right card. Oh, and we picked the failure. So we were unable to kill him. I'm taken by surprise. You were knocked to the ground. When you recover, you find yourself alone with the dead. So he made it away. I was unable to, uh, I was unable to kill him, so... Dead Man's Gorge. I'm sure it's not called Dead Man's Gorge without reason. Yeah, well, I imagine so. While crossing the ancient rope bridge of Dead Man's Gorge, you hear sounds of movement from below. It's an ambush! Draw one monster card. Another two of dusts. So we have another battle. Here's another counter move. Go ahead and counter him. Alright, there we go. We beat it again. 100% health. And there's lots of spiders crawling around. I'd be kind of freaked out in real life, to tell you the truth. Um, I need to get a deal. Three gain cards. This is a spoils. So draw one equipment. Ooh, what do we got? A sword? Ah, uh, yeah. Most fundamental symbol no, we don't want to equip that. Uh, our axe is better. Three food, nice. And another three food, nice. So we're doing really good on food. And we'll move on to the next card. The Jack of Dust. You have reached my first champion. A good man, driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife and child, kith and kin. From such dark and brittle iron, I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. All right, here we go, guys. Let's take on the this first token boss. This will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. Ooh, each one of those tokens unlocks more cards for the deck. So uh, let's let's go ahead and do this fight here. We got a four of dust and the jack of dust. So we've got two two cards we have to fight. We have to fight the boss and four bandits, so. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way or stop them with your own counter. Oh, I was hoping to do this without getting hit, but that's not the case as I totally got hit there. All the other, uh, all the other bandits are dead. It is time for me to work on the Jack and take care of him. There we go. I earned the card, along with other cards here. Down into the worms with him. Perhaps there is peace for him in the grave. Now his card gets added to my. Uh, one champion has been sent to the cabinet. To the cabinet, Yet yes. we are only at the start of our road. You will face 11 more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. Few fall at the first hurdle. None reach the last. We have wagered, and you have won. You may claim your rewards, yet I will also claim mine. As you improve, so do I. Balance must be retained well so as he, what he's saying is when I get better cards he also is going to get better cards to keep the game balanced so we've got the jack of skulls which I believe is the next boss and then we also have the dead king's hall local peasant devil's choice river and the captain of the guards now see each of these uh, each of these cards has a uh, a coin attached to them. So uh, um, if you beat the card or you do what the card asks of you, you actually receive another one of these co um, coins and receive more cards at the end of play. And so uh, you know there's quite a few more cards we're going to have in our deck now. So the second coin is going to net us 
This is for defeating the bandit jack. Um, medium armor. Chains of rage. Mercenary contract. Medium armor. We got two medium armors. Uh, Fortitude's breath. And desperate measures. Nice. We got some new weapons and some new armor. And the last coin. New challenges. Bandit attack. Uh, maze of traps. And goblins. Nice. Shall we deal again? Alright, that will bring us to the end of the first Let's Play video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I will be releasing a um, the second uh, um, the second card, um, the playthrough of the second card here very shortly. Um, again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I hope you will enjoy this Let's Play series of Hand of Fate. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, peace, love, and beard grease. <laughs>